did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? I think we both know that's not going to work. Our public perception is good enough. If you ask me, reaching out to save Infinity just makes us look weak. The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. Oh? Your response tells me Masako must have given you similar advice. It'd be unlike her to not fully exploit an advantage, especially when she believes acquiring Infinity is the right thing to do. Ah, uh, well, it does make Ryujin look good, and we do gain a wider customer base, which means higher profits. You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping around. As long as everyone has Ryujin's best interests in mind, this should make for an interesting meeting. An issue? That would be a foolish move. Dalton and Alexis are the only two against it. You'd never get the rest to shut it down. Dangerous indeed. For all I know, you're using it right now. The irony. Perhaps I didn't see it earlier, but you're right. The moment a competitor reverse engineers Vina's work, it'll be chaos. The last thing I want is to have my brain scrambled because some engineer didn't do their due diligence. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. Hey there. And how's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Oh, that's great. I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. Genevieve is going to be so excited. So, tell me what you think of the Neuroamp. I hope you're not actually suggesting that the technology I spent years working on and perfecting never sees the light of day. This is groundbreaking work. My life's work. Fine, fine. Make your case. Oh, there is adequate data to back what you're saying. More than adequate. Well, this conversation's made me feel like a proper monster. But you're right. In a perfect world, tech like this is used for good. But this world is far from perfect. It is. It really is. For years, my only focus has been, is this possible? And then, how do I make it work? I never stopped to consider if it was right, or what it would mean. I guess it'll be up to a vote either way. It's not on the meeting agenda, so I assume you'll bring it up yourself? We just have to hope the others will see reason. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? That's what I'm hoping for. They may be the underdog, but that doesn't mean they don't have a brilliant mind or two. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. If only there were more hours in the day. <sighs> Great, the bane of my department. If you need something, make it quick.
<laughs> Choose your words carefully. If you expect me to respond to threats, you're sadly mistaken. Now, I can only assume you're referring to Infinity LTD, and there's only one right decision regarding that corporation. Complete dissolution. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. A certain amount of confidence during the negotiations would go a long way in this situation. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. Don't even get me started. First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. Well, I'm both glad and surprised to hear the one person who has one say that. Masako's lucky to have you at her disposal, even if you are a continual thorn in my side. You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful, but now I really do need to get back to my notes. This meeting should prove to be very interesting. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. Good on you. It would be almost fitting to see the technology immediately turned on those who fostered its creation. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk. And look what happened. It's not often. But yes. And I'm not the only board member that initially voted against moving forward with the research. Completely. I understand the success it can bring for the corporation, but my only concern here is security. It's not that the board majority fails to see the dangers. It's that they believe we can overcome them. That hubris could easily bring this corporation down one day. I only hope it won't be on my watch. You read my mind. Let's just hope Masako and the others see it that way. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new neuroamp might cause. I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for their security. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient with the process. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. We'll be announcing Ularu's termination of employment at this meeting, so I need to have security ready to escort her off the premises. You are free soon. Could we talk? 
I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? They are dedicated in their cause. This is rare and admirable, I think. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. Yes. That is one way of putting it. I am often surprised at how reluctant some are to agree with the idea. They sometimes seem offended I would suggest such a thing. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. Yes, they were. I did not grow up amidst such luxury. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. I have. There have been times where I wondered whether it was worth it. My family is unique within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies, or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. It has certainly proven valuable. Saved me. A few times, without question. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. I've got my eye on you. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? Well, you can let Masako know to rest easy. It just so happens that her agenda lines up with mine. We just need to grab Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year. All right. I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done, qualified or not. So let's hear it. The possible backlash on tech like this is not lost on me. However, the internal neuroamp will define the next era of tech, with Ryujin at the forefront. It's not an opportunity you just walk away from. You're right. The moment you violate your customer's trust, there's a good chance they'll never come back. Even worse, you push them into the hands of your competitors. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. 
Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. Looking interesting today. Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Good. I prefer first hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? Oh, I didn't mean in regards to Drexler's actions. More in the sense of should a superior company like Ryujin make room for so many potentially lackluster employees? Perhaps I wanted to see if I could be convinced otherwise. It's easy to say, it's the right thing to do, for someone in your position. But for me, Infinity LTD is a huge financial unknown. It's high risk versus mediocre reward. Hmm. Your disdain is noted. And perhaps you thought I'd care because you're hopeful. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled the mole situation? And why do you feel it was well handled? Please note I'm not disagreeing. I just want to know the why behind your statement. I agree. Should Masako had informed us too early, we may have all turned on each other. I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. It's only dangerous to those who can't afford one. Hence the added motivation that will bolster sales. Ah, your companion. I would be interested in another perspective. You are naive if you think tech like this will remain under control. Think of the Neuroamp in the hands of a Varun Zealot or Crimson Fleet Pirate. It is not a matter of if it will happen, but a matter of when. Will you be equipped to handle the repercussions when that day comes? What makes you so certain this is inevitable? Not that I doubt the scenario. Simple. It is human nature. Nuclear weapons, chemical warfare, xeno warfare, mechs. Enemies and competitors will get their hands on this tech eventually and reverse engineer it to use however they see fit. I admit, you've properly pushed my concerns to the very edge. Hmm. Your friend here is quite convincing. The internal neuroamp does indeed come with risks, none of which I am inclined to take anymore. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. Alright everyone, as you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. 
The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial. And he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. Believe it or not, I agree. The acquisition has risks, and it's going to create a lot of work for all of us. But the overall payoff will be worth it. Legal ramifications are a certainty, but the benefits far outweigh the disadvantages. Arguments? Infinity LTD could be the Pandora's box of financial and legal risks. I simply cannot support an acquisition. I think what we're all overlooking is what led us to this situation to begin with. Yes, our security was compromised. But considering Dalton was hired by Masako, the issue obviously starts at the top. In fact, I propose that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton, the last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogene was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Of course we do. The malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. <laughs> I should at least have the opportunity to resign. And allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? I don't think so. This may be news to me, and I will be reviewing the evidence closely. But this isn't something you just get to walk away from. Security. Escort Miss Chen to her office, and see that she stays put. You'll regret this. All of you. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right. Back to business. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. Aye. All against? Nay. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? Pay attention. The internal NeuroAmp is a key component of Ryujin Industries' success for the next 10 years, if not more. Why would we shelve it after we've finally perfected it? I can't believe I'm saying this, but he's right. Regardless of the pros, the cons are too morally and ethically irresponsible to move forward with. The moment the public gets wind of the true capabilities of this tech, we're gonna suffer severe backlash. Very well. All in favor of shelving Project Dominion. Aye. Aye. Vina, prep Project Dominion for storage. Any other matters to bring forth? None? This concludes our order of business for today. At least if you're here, you're not screwing up out there. <laughs> you operatives really will wear anything. Shelving the internal neuroamp. Not the outcome I anticipated.
A fine point, but it still proves its usefulness. The truth remains, Lucas Drexler learned a hard lesson, and we exposed a traitor among us. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. It's well earned and deserved. I truly appreciate the work you put into exposing Ularu. No operative has ever had to investigate our own to the extent that you did. I can imagine it may have been a lot of pressure, considering you were fairly new at the time. There was no honor in Ularu's plan. It did not deserve to succeed. Not often, and certainly not to this degree. We have the occasional employee consider selling information, but thanks to our security and operations teams, we always catch them before any damage can be done. This was the first time anyone from either department was involved. Imogene's instincts were right about you. Now. As promised, I have your bonus. I hope you'll find it appropriate for all you've done. And I'm promoting you to senior operative. You've more than earned it. As for the details, I think someone back on the operations floor would prefer to explain those to you. into any restricted areas. shaken things up around here. I still can't believe Ularu tried to frame me. An obvious misjudgment on my part. But now that's all in the past. It's time to get back to your typical day-to-day. -day. And I'd say it's good to be back if I hadn't returned to a mountain of paperwork. Now, since you are new, you've been dealing with people, but most of our assignments are generated on the mission board. The board holds any available assignments that our techs have pieced together, and I've approved. Questions? No, but try to see that as an improvement, since I certainly do. The mission board is more efficient for both of us. Good. The mission board is generally self-explanatory anyway. With your promotion, you've earned yourself an office, so whenever you're ready, you can find your own personal mission board inside. And the best perk of them all, you're free to make your own hours. Oh, and uh, congratulations, of course. You certainly will. Go check out the board, and if you have any questions, I suppose I can start up an open-door policy, just for you. <laughs> 